Hi, I'm Dr. Craig Rayside and I'm a Mormon. Dr. Craig Rayside is a well-known Australian forensic psychiatrist. He specialises in the assessment of mentally ill criminal offenders, victims of crime and other personal injury, and provides psychiatric treatment to prisoners. He frequently provides expert evidence to the court in the areas of mental health, substance abuse and criminal behaviour. Dr. Rayside is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and tells us why he believes. I believe that I have a Heavenly Father who loves me and that he knows me, that his Son Jesus Christ is my personal Saviour and that I can be guided and directed each day of my life through his Spirit. I gained a, a strong knowledge of this when I was only 14 years old. It was an activity that I was involved in, nothing important, but I found myself separated from my friends, not in any dangerous way, but just was a bit upset that they weren't around and I offered a simple prayer asking if we could be together. And instantly, something happened that we could all be back together again. And while it wasn't important in the, in the big scheme of things, at that moment I knew that my prayers were heard, that they were answered, and it made me feel really important that the God of this universe would be interested enough in me, a 14-year-old boy, nothing important, and that really made a big difference to my life then and has made a difference in my life since then. A few weeks later after that experience, I was reading the Book of Mormon and at the end of that book there's an invitation and a promise by an ancient prophet who asks us to read the book and then sincerely ask God if it's true. And so having had that previous experience, I decided to pray and I received a very strong feeling, a strong conviction that this was indeed a book of scripture. To know that there was a, a person who could speak for God on the earth, I could have confidence and trust that if I just simply followed what his counsel was, then things would work out in my life. From those early experiences of prayer, I increased in confidence that I could pray about all the decisions in my life. It helped me decide my career, being a doctor and then later as a psychiatrist and in the work I do. It helped me know who I should marry and it's helped me as I've, as a father, taught my children uh, to know that they too are sons and daughters of a God who loves them. And that knowledge has been underneath everything that I've tried to do in my life. So now in my, my work, with dealing with people with mental illness, those who might find themselves in trouble with the law, or have had terrible things happen to them, various accidents and injuries, I know that every person I meet is a son or a daughter of a Heavenly Father who loves them that they are just as precious to him, of infinite worth and divine nature to him, as I am. And I know that each of these people deserve my respect, regardless of the choices they've made, it, they've made in their life, regardless of the decisions that have brought them into difficulty. Each of them is a valuable, divine person. And so I treat them with kindness and respect because I really believe that when people know who they are and whose they are, then that will determine all the decisions they make in their life and it makes all the difference.